everyone, Tater here. Happy New Year's! Almost. <laughs> it is December two, December 31st at 5.30 p.m. on the West Coast. And today I am filming my November wrap-up, I mean December wrap-up, slash January 2014 TBR. Woo! Okay, so uh, I got a lot of reading done this month. Um, and let's just get straight into talking about it, okay? So first, I finished Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams. This is the second book in the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trilogy. And it's really good. It was really good. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the first one, but I'm pretty sure this got a 3 out of 5 stars for me, so I did like it. Next, I read Our Town. By Thornton Wilder. This is a really old, cool copy that I acquired. And I really enjoyed this. Um, Thornton Wilder writes, he wrote this play beautifully, and the story's really awesome. And uh, this play is basically about um, life. This was really good. I enjoyed it. So there's that. And next, I read Angel Fall by Susan E. I've been talking about this book a lot because it's great. Um, this was my Secret Santa gift from Melissa, and I will uh, put a link to her channel down below. And uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, Penryn, the main character, she's really badass, and the uh, proposed love interest is also very seductive. And uh, this is about the uh, what happens when the angels c come from heaven and start attacking Earth. Um, although in t all technicality, we attack them first. So, uh, this is really awesome, and, uh, for Supernatural fans, if you thought the Supernatural angels, angels were douchebags, you have no freaking clue. So, uh, Angel Fall, I'm pretty sure I gave it a 5 out of 5, and, uh, I loved it. I need to get World After. That's next on my to-buy list. Alright, so there's Angel Fall. You read The Kite Runner by Kayla Tosani. Um, this was the one book that I was definitely planning on reading in December, and I was about halfway through it when the, uh, Christmas book Tubathon rolled around, and the only night that I was really uh, able to participate in sprints was Saturday night, so I, uh, finished that through Saturday night, and, um, I really enjoyed this. This is a really great book to anyone who loves emotional, well-written books, and, uh, books on social commentary and uh, about the world around us, definitely go read The Kite Runner. It's great. I love it. And next, I read Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I have a lot of problems with this book. Mainly, I hated the main character. Sam was one of the most annoying brats on the face of this planet. <sighs> okay, just thought I'd, I'd get that out there. She's so annoying, and I couldn't... I tried really hard to like this book, but I really... I really didn't. And on the day before and the day of Christmas, I read On a, Mid a Midnight Clear by Katherine Patterson. These are just little short stories um, about the meaning of the Christmas season, and they were really cute. They are obviously aimed at little kids, because you can see Scholastic. But uh, I really enjoyed this. This is a nice, fun, quick read to get me into the Christmas mood. And then, the last book I read in December was Wonder by R.J. Palacio. This book was perfect. This book was perfect. Um, for those of you who don't know, Wonder is about a kid named Augie. He's 10 years old, and he has a very severe facial deformity. Um, there's nothing wrong with him other than that. He just has a very hard, awful facial deformity. And uh, he never describes what he looks like, but uh, a lot of the punks in this book try and uh, uh, compare him to really rude, messed up things. But, um... This is about Augie. He goes to school for the first time. He enters the fifth grade, and it's his first year of public school, and it just follows him and making friends, and it's it was beautiful. I forgot one. Okay, so somewhere 
in all of this, I decided to read Carmilla by... I can't pronounce his name anyways. But um, it was a really short book, and I read it on my phone, and um, it was it's about a lesbian vampire. And I really enjoyed it. It's a classic. Uh, Ron Litt, and I will link her video about it down here. Ron Litt made a really awesome video about Carmilla, and I decided to pick it up, and I'm really glad that I did because I really enjoyed it. So now that wraps up everything that I read in December. I read eight books, guys eight books. I'm really proud of myself. Like, that's really awesome. That's, I think that's the most I've ever read in a month, ever. So, <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. And, uh, the one book that I am definitely planning on reading in January, and this is going to be the first book I want to read in 2014, and that is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Ch Stephen Chbotsky. I'm really, really, really excited. I've seen the movie several times. In fact, I've kind of based my outfit for New Year's Eve around uh, an outfit that Sam slash Emma Watson wears in the movie, and I love the story, I know the story, I just want to, I really would like to read the words. I would like to read it and get its full worth, and I almost guarantee myself that this book is going to be better than the movie, even though the movie's perfect. So, yeah, me, me and this little, little lovely yellow thing are going to curl up tonight once it hits midnight. And uh, I'm going to try my hardest not to blast through this. I want to savor it. I want to take at least a week to read it. So that's probably going to be really, really hard because I love tearing through good books and it's really difficult for me to slow down when I love the book that's going on. But I'm really excited. And then... Uh, yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. Uh, Happy New Year's again. I hope your 2013 was awesome, and if it wasn't, I hope your 2014 is kick-ass. Thanks, guys. Love you. Warm wishes from my bookshelf to yours. Goodbye.